This is an official statement from the South African Youth Council following the recently uh, concluded NEC meeting. The National Executive Committee of the South African Youth Council convened on the 4th until the 6th of the March 2022 at the Capital in Hotel. This meeting was the first NEC gathering following the 5th Triennial General Assembly, which we commonly refer to as the TGA. The last TGA mandated our NEC to reposition and remodel the South African Youth Council as a legitimate voice of the youth across the country and the SADC region. In line with this mandate, the NEC centered its focus and discussions on pragmatic fulfillment and implementations of the TGA mandate. Our diverse mem membership, which strategically locates itself as a parliament of young people, has observed that since the formation of the council, the council has not fully entrenched itself as an umbrella body for young people to the maximum. The NEC acknowledges that the youth sector remains less cohesive and fragmented. This can be attributed to various issues such as unnecessary contestations within the youth development sector. Lack of strategic partnership or collaboration also contributes to this. And to some extent, uh, this leads to dupl duplication of efforts and waste of resources. The NEC has therefore resolved to intensify engagements with our existing member organizations for effective collaboration across the board. This intention to strengthen partnerships and participation with the current member, member organizations is also aimed at encouraging and persuading organized youth structures to locate themselves within this gigantic national vehicle that represents the interest of the youth sector at the NETLEG, SANAG and other strategic platforms. The NEC further deliberated on a number of requests for affiliation that we've received as the structure and have therefore decided that in due course, we will provide an application method and put system in place for affiliations. This will then be shared with the prospective structures. The NEC also referred, reflected on the challenges and shortcomings of psych in the provinces and we accept that the youth sector is not a static, but it is rather a dynamic, dynamic sector which constantly requires our organization to review our posture and approach from time to time. There is a concern that psych has not been able to live up to the needs and aspiration of different categories within the sector. The NEC fully appreciates that in order for psych to be affirmed as a legitimate voice of the youth in general, our mandate must reflect the needs and aspirations of all sectors. Therefore, a consultative process with stakeholders, member organizations and affiliates will be rolled out across the provinces in our effort to ensure that all categories within the, the sector find expression and they are able to associate themselves with the South African Youth Council. The NEC acknowledges the right of organizations to freedom of association. And our attempt is to restore confidence in our members and prospective affiliates that SAIC remains a vehicle, a key vehicle to advance the interest of the youth sector in general. Now, in terms of partnership, uh, SAIC and the National Youth Development Agency has have a strong relationship. And our, and, and our relationship is strengthened by our continuous support of each other's strategic position and our common objective for youth development in general. It, this relationship enables both structures to develop and implement youth-centered uh, programs. The partnership further allows SAIC to advance the youth sector's interest efficiently. Therefore, in light of this, the NEC has resolved that the relationship between these organizations must not only be at the national level, but it should rather cascade down to the provincial and regional levels.
In line with our vision to reposition, remodel and restore the dignity of this uh, youth council, the NEC has decided to take a stern position on dysfunctional provincial structures, regions, ill-disciplined members and employees at various levels. The need to uphold and abide by the constitutional values and principles of the organization is non-negotiable. Therefore, the below listed NEC resolutions have been made as part of organizational renewal. The disbandment of provincial structures, it is done in line with, with the principles that are outlined in the constitution of our organization and to further realize the renewal and rebuilding of psych. The NEC has resolved to disband, to disband the following provincial structures. The Free State, Northwest and Mpumalanga have been disbanded. The NEC will appoint task teams in these provinces. In the Free State, in the Free State, the NEC has, the, has appointed NEC members at Galehwale, Benedict Mpuche as convener and coordinator respectively to assist with the appointment of a PTT in the province. And uh, the Deputy General Secretary also form parts, forms part of this Free State PTT. In Mpumalanga province, the NEC dissolved this province and has appointed Sam Masangu as the PTT as a PTT convener and Mziwake Tabete as the PTT coordinator. Former PEC members will also form part of this PTT. In Northwest, the Northwest province has been dysfunctional for almost 15 years. Therefore, the NEC has directed the GSO to lead the process of consultation with member organizations in the province. The aim is to constitute the PTT that, is, that, we, that we need. And, the, and this PTT will then report to the NWC. We are hoping to finalize this process as speedily as possible. What is of importance to note is that all PTT structures in the affected provinces are expected to have concluded their BGAs by the end of May this year. The provinces must facilitate the appointment of regional task teams, which are also expected to host their respective assemblies by the end of June 2022. Moving forward, on the subcommittees, on the committees and subcommittees, the NEC fully appreciates the monumental task of repositioning, rebuilding, and reaffirming PSYCH as a legitimate voice of young people, that this task requires all hands on deck. It is therefore that we have resolved to establish several key committees tasked with administration and implementation of programs. The subcommittees and their heads are as follows. Cooperative Entrepreneurship SMME Unit will be chaired by Edgar Lekhwali. Strategy and in planning unit will be chaired by Zanele uh, Mabaso. Resource mobilization unit will be chaired by the TG Mary Jane Ramusi and at Galehwale will be an additional member to this unit. Organizing com and campaign unit will be chaired by Tony, Tony Rachweni. Research and policy unit will be chaired by Bongani Mashangu. Media, publicity and communication will be chaired by Benedict Mpuche. Gender and LGBTQI plus unit will be chaired by Ms. Lorraine Koza. Sports, arts and culture unit will be chaired by Ms. Mbalinkosi. National Disciplinary Committee will be chaired by Luz Luzuko Njongwana. As part of the, as part of, of, of renewing the organization, we recognize the talent that young people in South Africa possess. The NEC has decided to open a, to open these committees for young people who are interested in joining and serving in these committees. These young people may not necessarily be serving within psych at any levels, but they might have passion and expertise that we need as the organization. Now, we will make a call for these young people to avail themselves to serve in these committees and assist. 
Psych has noted with concern the so-called critical skills list by the Department of Home Affairs. Our view is that the list does not reflect the reality on the ground. In fact, it, it is to some extent exposing the gap that exists between government and the youth sector. It does not reflect the truth on the ground. Now, in terms of partnerships, SAIC and the Department of Small uh, Business Development have, are in, in talks to finalize a memorandum of agreement. The organization has established an understanding and collaboration with the department, and as a result, Psych, Psych has been participating in the provincial roadshows of the department to offer support and to some extent deal with questions that may be directly linked to any of our structures or constitutional or our constitutional mandate. In terms of fundraising and strategic uh, uh, provincial engagements. The NEC has tasked the Treasurer General to embark on provincial visit, which is aimed at establishing, strengthening the relationship with government, private sector, and the civil society uh, across all provinces. Now, moving swiftly towards the National uh, Working Committee. Our National Working Committee comprises of our top six and, uh, and and the, uh, the additional uh, NEC members. The, to the top six uh, remains the President Low, uh, uh, Deputy President uh, Spelele Gavu, General Secretary Tolika Sibia, Deputy Secretary General Sitswana Chabedi, uh, Deputy General Secretary Sitswana Chabedi, National Chairperson Nokutula Zibi, Treasurer General Mary Jane uh, Ramuzi. Luzu Konchongwana, additional member. Tabo Masenya as an additional member. Da Dalsi Mangani as an additional member. And Zagani Tobela as an additional member. Saik would like to further call on Russia and Ukraine to find common grounds for an amicable solution which will put an end to the loss of innocent life. In the same light, we are also appealing to our local authorities here to intervene on the Operation Dudula activities. In conclusion, SAIC would like to urge all its member organizations, stakeholders, and the general public to continue observing COVID-19 regulations. And we want to reaffirm that the South African Youth Council remains committed to the youth, youth development agenda and the overall interest of the youth sector. I thank you.